everybody. My name is Josh Westmoreland, and I'm the Robotics Project Manager here with Cross Robotics. So I want to welcome you into the next entry in our video blog series, where we showcase and highlight some of the cool and interesting features of the Universal Robot. So by now, we all know that the Universal Robot is inherently safe to operate around people without guarding. But what about those situations where either the end of arm tool or the part that's being manipulated really dictates that there should be some type of either caging or some type of external safety device to help? Well, as we visit with our customers, it's a very popular question. So what we wanted to do today was put a little video together and show you one of the most popular options to add safety, additional safety, to the universal robot. And what we're talking about here today is an area scanner. And specifically, we're working with the Omron STI OS32C area scanner. So this scanner has a 270 degree field of view, and it can be custom fitted with certain zones to really fit your production needs. What we're gonna show you in the demo today is that as I take a step closer, it's gonna trigger a reduced speed mode within the robot. If I step out, of the specific zone, the robot will pick up its normal operation. And then as I get even closer to the robot, it's gonna go into a safeguard stop mode. And again, as I step out, it'll pick up its normal operation. So again, this is just set up this way and, and we've got the zones really programmed tight uh, just for demo purposes. But in production, this could really be custom fit within any range of the scanner. So let's get this robot going and let you guys see it in action. All right, so as you can see, we've got the robot operating at a normal speed. There's no rhyme or reason between these points. It's just three random points in space for the purposes of the demo. But what we have done is we've set up the area scanner with a couple of zones that are gonna trigger a reduced speed mode and then a safeguard stop within the robot. So as you'll see that as we step into the first zone, we trigger a reduced speed mode within the robot that is completely customizable. It could be a little faster than this, a little slower than this. This could also be a reduced force mode. It really depends on what your application needs. But what's going on is that the area scanner recognized that I was in the zone and sent a safety rated output to the UR controller and triggered the reduced speed mode. Now, if we take this a step further and I get into the safeguard stop mode, it's the same thing, a safety rated output to the controller has triggered the, the safeguard stop for the robot to stop. Now if I take a step out of that safeguard stop zone, you'll see that we go back into our reduced speed mode. <clears throat> and then if I step out again, we're back into normal operation mode. So for the demo, we've really set these zones pretty tight, but in production, they're completely customizable. So it could be a five foot radius around the robot to trigger a reduced speed mode a three foot radius around the robot to trigger a safeguard stop. And it can really be tailor fit to fit what's going on at your facility. So today we've really shown you a demo of how these two technologies work together, but we didn't really dive into how to make it work. So stay tuned to crossrobotics.com where we're gonna be releasing a white paper to kind of discuss some of the details about how to go about actually setting this up. So until then, we look forward to hearing from you. If there's anything we can do for you, please visit us at crossrobotics.com and don't hesitate to reach out.